talking about human trafficking this afternoon on the show. Hindi po porque hindi tayo apektado e wala na tayong gagawin. An injustice done to our people is an injustice done to us as a Filipino people. Mm -hmm. Nympha is joining us still on the show. Joanna, new face, and I like that you're young and you're very mm -hmm. much involved. Joanna is representing Filipino Migrant Center as well. Earlier, Nympha, uh, pinag-usapan natin, no? Uh, pagdating dito, hindi sila makakuha ng trabaho, Dahil wala naman silang visa, dahil hindi mm -hmm. rin inasikaso ng recruiter. Yes. And in fact, you have a case like that. Yes, it's a case handled by the Migrant Heritage Commission in Washington, D.C. And um, in this case, this nurse, she's a registered nurse, and when she came here, the recruiter did not take care of the paperwork. So she did not have a visa, and she ended up in jail for seven months. Okay. So that's really sad. Ayan ang nakakalungkot. Um, earlier we met victim number one. There's the most recent case right now involving teachers. Pinangakuan na magtatrabaho bilang guro dito sa Amerika pagdating dito. Wala palang trabaho and they're forced to work uh, other jobs at wala silang papel. I'm guessing, Joanna. Yes. Okay. Um, let's talk to victim number two. In a, a, still in an isolated uh, location, no? Uh, victim number two, uh, siguro linawi natin sa ating mga manonood, bakit importante na hindi ipakita yung mga mukha nyo at uh, ang boses nyo at ang identity nyo? Uh, kasi para confid confidentiality, kasi alam namin na meron siyang nephew doon sa Pilipinas, so, hindi namin alam kung anong gagawin niya. In fact, may tumatawag sa amin na restricted. Hindi namin sina sinagot kasi hindi namin alam kung sino yun. Maybe siguro siya yun. So, gusto namin na uh, magkita namin siya para, para mabayaran na yung ano niyang ginawa niya sa amin. Kasi naghihirap kami dito sa Amerika. Paano kami makatrabaho na wala kami permit? So, meron kami H1B pero hindi kami makatrabaho ng iba kasi isa kaming mga guro. So we have to uh, kailangan ano, meron kaming permit para makatrabaho kami. So ayaw namin makilala ma doon sa Pilipinas kung sino kami kasi putiktahan namin yung pamilya namin at saka yung pagkatao namin dito. Alright, let's talk about that, Joanna. Uh, hindi lang yung what happened to them, no? They're reeling from that, but then at the same time, now they're more worried about their family in the Philippines. Ano bang ginagawa ng pamahalaan natin dito para protektahan sila? Na naging biktima na nga sila, and now they're gonna be, there are possibilities na maging victims pa sila many times over. Right, well, um, the United States has um, signed, uh, the Congress signed the Trafficking um, Victims Protection Act in 2000. Um, that's when it started, and it was re-signed in 2003 and 2005. And so that um, grants uh, trafficking victims, if they if um, they have, have identified victims of trafficking, they're eligible um, to get immigration relief. So that act itself created this T visa, which is visa given to um, uh, trafficking victims. Okay, gano katagal ang pagbibigay ng visa? Let's say, you know, they can't wait here one year, two years, na walang trabaho. How mm -hmm. quick is the, is the granting of the visa? Um, it takes a while depending on the investigation because there's an ongoing mm -hmm. investigation when, um, that the FBI has to do, the Department of Homeland Security, uh, the U.S. Attorney. So it, it, takes, it takes a while, but there is immediate relief. Um, in, the, in that act, um, they can be granted continued presence, mm -hmm. meaning that they can be given work authorization um, if they've been identified as a victim. Okay, let's talk to victim number two again, again in an unspecified location. Uh, anong trabaho mo bali ngayon? At uh, sinabi ng, ni Joanna, maari daw kayong mabigyan ng temporary work authorization. Nakuha mo na ba yung sayo? Ah, uh, hindi pa. So, meron akong trabaho noon, isang guro ako dito, you know, substitute. Kasi ayaw ko naman magtrabaho sa school na hindi yung nang nagpetisyon sa akin kasi mag, mag, magbaya sila ang pinati at ayaw ko magkasala. So, that's why I have to Ano, nag-resign nag, nag ako at naghintay ako ng papeles ko. Kasi naghintay rin sila sa akin na mag, sila mag-petition sa akin ng green card. Naghintay sila sa akin ng papeles ko. Okay. Thank you. Nympha, nasan, because you're the reporter that broke the story and I know that you're continuing to develop the story, at what point are they? Nasaan na sila? Uh, kailan matatanggap ang visa? Uh, in, in a month, two months, three months? Anong ginagawa nila ngayon? Lahat ba sila may trabaho? Nasan sila, I mean, you know, nasa isang bahay ba silang lahat? I believe that you're still in the process of hiring a lawyer yes. or getting a lawyer, volunteer lawyer, <laughs> okay. walang bayad. So, okay. 
And um, then after that, when they get the, the T visa, then they can work, okay. resume normal life. Dahil kung walang lawyer, walang mm -hmm. magpa-file ng yes. kaso. Kailangan po ng, ng immigration lawyer na experience sa trafficking okay. uh, yes. para to oversee the application ng T visa. Okay, so mm -hmm. ngayon habang wala pang lawyer, wala pang pina-file? Wala pa. Okay. Wala pa. We, the only thing we've done so far is really to prepare that, to send that application. And how long have these teachers been out of a job? Kailan sila dumating? Dumating sila around the period of 2007 to 2008. So wow. there's over 35 of them. And yes. it's been years mm -hmm. now. It's been years. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking a little bit more about that. Marami po sa ating nanonood kung may kakilala kayo na maaring makatulong sa kanila. We'll give you the number for FMC later. And uh, please, please call them. We need your help. And we'll be back for more. Don't go away.